Wilkins. Please stay seated. Well, just hours ago, we learned that a school security officer was injured as he tried to stop that fight. WREG's Jessica Knox spoke with his wife and an angry parent. Parents are outraged after what happened at Hamilton High School graduation last night. They said love Hamilton, absolutely. They didn't show that last night. Okay, then. They didn't. Quito White says what she witnessed Thursday night at the Renaissance Convention Center during her son's graduation is ridiculous. How do you fight at a graduation? In this video, a student is escorted out by the school security officer. That's when things escalate and the student throws his diploma at another child's neck. It's a time for celebration, so why is everybody fighting? Why are you angry? What's the problem? Tell me. According to Memphis police, this started when a student started flashing gang signs. Memphis police say the security officer tried escorting him out, but that's when the student threw his diploma. The security officer grabbed him and detained him. But the student was able to jump over three rows of seats and started fighting the student he hit with a diploma. They say that's when two other students jumped in and one had to be pepper sprayed. The wife of an employee who was at the event says her husband is injured from the fight. He has a big bruise on his left eye. Um, they broke his glasses. They broke his glasses. Um, his ankle is, in, well, the front of his foot, it, it looks like it's fractured. According to this woman who does not want to be identified, this all stemmed from a prior incident between the two students. She thinks those two students should not have been at the graduation in the first place. Now, they were not in school, but he gave a here, here's the packet that you guys can come and walk. Knowing that these, you, you, knowing that this was the end of the school year, knowing that these kids were vowing to get each other. White says as a parent, this was hard to see. Memphis have a huge problem, period. Not just with, it's a, it's a real problem with youth. Reporting for your news leader in South Memphis, I'm Jessica Knox, WREG News, Channel 3. Bringing chaos now to the graduations, and the graduation did continue that night, but all suspects and victims were either issued juvenile summons or a misdemeanor citation and released to their parents. We reached out to the Memphis School District for a statement, and we're still waiting for a response from them. All right, more news to get.